हेलो स्टूडेंट्स आई एम प्रोफेसर नम्रता हम्पी होली फ्रॉम डिपार्टमेंट ऑफ कॉमर्स एंड अकाउंटेंसी सो इन अवर प्रीवियस क्लास वी हैव सीन अबाउट द काइंड्स ऑफ द बेंचर्स नाउ कमिंग टू द नेक्स्ट पार्ट हियर इज टू सी व्हाट इज द डिफरेंस बिटवीन डिबेंचर्स एंड शेयर्स सो वेन वी लुक इन टू द जनरल मीनिंग ऑफ शेयर्स एंड डिबेंचर्स they both are the debent that is the debenture holders and the shareholders or contributing or investing in a company shareholders receive the return in the form of dividend and uh, the debenture holders receive a uh, interest as a returns so your both purpose is to invest in a company and get the returns but there are certain differences even though the meaning sounds the same but there are differences between the shares and debentures so let us look into their differences the first difference here is the shareholders are the members of the company so when the shareholders purchase the share of the company uh, so here simple when we are purchasing the shares of the company that means we are investing the um, amount in that company we are giving or providing the amount to the company so here the shareholders form the ownership of the company that is they become the member of the company here but when it comes to the debentures they are the creditors of the company so whom do we call as a creditor to whom we have a obligation to pay back the money that is to whom we have to return back the money which we have borrowed to them we call as a creditors right so here debenture holders form the creditor of the company then when it comes to the voting right here shareholders are provided with the voting rights that is in the case of the electing the directors of the company or in any matter of the company uh, the shareholders are given a right to vote or to express their opinion or to have to make some decision but in case of the debenture holder they are not provided with any such type of the voting rights here so well, but in case of the debenture holders uh, that is uh, debent they do not carry any voting rights in a general meeting then uh, but in the section 43 amended by the companies act in 2000 they permit issue of equity shares which may not have even voting rights so certain even shareholders do not have the voting right but that too in a passed in some amendment with restriction of some rules and regulations only then next in case of the interest then the interest on debentures is able whether there is a profit or no uh, there is mistake in the interest the interest should come on the right side and the dividend should go on the left side so sorry for this inconvenience so in case of the shareholders dividend is paid to the com, uh, to the shareholders as a return but here dividend is paid only if the company earns the profit so for here shareholders they will get a return as a dividend only if the company is earning the profit but in case of the debenture holders interest is paid the return paid on the debenture is called here as a interest that has to be paid whether the company earns the profit or no because they are the creditor of the company and the profit whatever we earn or we may incur the loss doesn't make here much difference but we have to give them a return that is interest then coming to next difference here is shareholders cannot be paid back their amount during the life of lifetime of the company now suppose if the person is investing by purchasing the share suppose he has purchased some uh, 20 shares by paying certain amount that is we can say that 2 lakh or 5 lakh the amount cannot be repaid during the lifetime of the company but in case of a debentures they are redeemed that is they are paid back after the certain period of the time specified period of the time or before the company end up with the winding that is before the company get close the debenture holders are paid back on the basis of the priority then here the shares cannot be issued at discount except as provided under the section 53 of companies act so here issuing at discount means what on the 
share certificate the face value of the shares is printed so when you are issuing the share less than that amount suppose now price of one share is 100 rupees but you are issuing at them at a 90 rupees so here that is issue of the shares at discount then here share cannot be issued at the discount except certain uh, like uh, except certain restriction which is provided under the section 53 of companies act then here debentures can be issued at the discount that is in case of funds necessary the debentures can be raised even at issuing at the discount then coming to the next there are no charges on shares that is here they do not carry any charges but in case of a debentures if they are secured that is we have seen what is secure debentures here that is the debenture holders are investing amount of in the company against some security of the company that is asset so on such type of a asset they carry some charges here then the shareholders are paid back only after all the claims have been satisfied that is the shareholder will get the money whatever they have invested but only if the amount remains after paying off the, all the claims that is they will get back only if the claims are being settled or satisfied that is they um, they have to first pay to the creditors then debenture holders then they have to, then the, we have seen that even the preference shareholders will get the priority so after that all process they are if the amount remains then only the shareholders are going to get back the amount which they have invested initially then coming to the debenture holders so here debenture holders if they are secure creditors of the company they are being paid to the prior to the shareholders that is uh, as i have said that debenture holders come under the category of creditors of a company so they are paid on the priority basis during the winding up of the company so before they wind up whatever the the amount they have to pay back to the debenture holders by the way of cash or by selling of the any asset or the property of the company they have to uh, pay them back during the winding up of the company so I hope you are clear with the differences between the shares and debentures.